Hey guys, Everyday Talk with Stephanie Clements and what's more everyday than sitting in your car? I am sitting here waiting for the rain maybe to let up before I run into meetings and thought what a there's not a better time than to just go ahead and talk to you about what's on my mind. And I started, um, I actually got in a conversation with somebody last night and we were talking about changes and and he was saying, you know, right now I feel like I'm just kind of running in place till I figure out where to go next. And I said, I, you know, totally get that. And, you know, so just talking about the different problems, I started um, telling him a little bit without really going into detail about my story, but that I feel like there needs to be a little bit more detail. So, you know, I actually was to a place, you know, you feel like you're just treading water. You're just trying to survive. Yeah, just totally in survival mode. I was getting that tight feeling in my chest that stayed all the time, that it's almost on the verge of panic. And I couldn't sleep. And when I would fall asleep, I would wake up kind of panicked and be thinking of everything that had to be done and that I just didn't have the ability to get it done. And I was helping to raise my grandkids and I had my own kids and single mom, you know, trying to run a couple different companies and was struggling financially and just, I was not seeing a way out because it was taking everything I had just to get through the day and um, decided to get away for a little while. So went on a little mini vacation, which should have been, you know, I thought I can recharge, I'll feel better, and I'll get out and, and take care of this stuff when I get back. So I went to the beach and all I did was cry. And I thought this is supposed to be my happy place and all I could do is cry. And for the first time, and this is really difficult to admit, I thought about suicide. Not because that's what I wanted, it's not, and I kept thinking, well, that's not really even an option. There's too much, there's too many people that depend on me and I can't leave these people without. So it wasn't that it was true consideration but the fact is, is the only way I saw out of my situation was death. And that, that woke me up because that's, it's, that shouldn't be our only option. And I thought, something has to change. I cannot stay like this. I, I'm not going to survive if I keep up. And I didn't know how that was going to change. I just knew something had to. And I started downloading audiobooks and I started downloading and listening to some motivational things. And I thought, you know, I'm not happy with my financial situation. I'm not happy with my living situation. I'm not happy with my weight. I've been gaining weight and, you know, I'm sluggish. I don't feel well. I don't. And I thought, you know, the two, there's, there's two areas immediately that I can work on. And one is my thoughts and the other is at least exercising and controlling my diet. So that's where I started. And I did some, um, you know, I'm watching motivational videos and listening to motivational audio books. And so I sat down and I basically did a vision board on PowerPoint so that it was just online. I don't have to have it hanging on the wall, but it's on my computer and I look at it each morning. And then I started going and being grateful for each of those things, just like I had it. What, how do I envision my perfect life? And then I started with not allowing negative thoughts. You know, today is going to be a good day. And that can be a battle 
each and every minute. So when those bad thoughts of how am I going to handle it, I'm like, nope, we're going to handle it. We're going to handle today. It's going to be good. We're going to get out here. So I'm going to make three phone calls right now in a row while I'm thinking about it and not, not let this get me down. And so I started controlling my thoughts. I thought, can't afford to go and do gyms and things like that. But I have a dog who loves to get out. So I can get out and run her. And then, you know, one of my grandkids, I'm like, I can take her. She loves getting in the stroller. Get out and just start walking. Start doing the things that I need to do. And as I was doing that, things have started rolling into place. There have been more changes than I ever would have imagined. I haven't arrived yet. Not by a long shot. And I may never fully arrive. That it doesn't matter. Every day, I'm doing things that make my life better. And it is little things, and it's things you can do. Um, so last night, I'm telling this person some of the story and how much has changed. But I was sitting on the couch thinking, I'm so, I'm tired tonight. I'm just tired. And I was like, you know, you haven't done a run or anything today. And I thought, but I'm just too tired. And I've worked hard and I deserve the break. And then I thought, that's the kind of thinking that got me there and out of this in the first place. So get up. It doesn't have to be a long run. All right, it, we're tired. Do two miles. Just do two miles and get up and know you've done something. So it takes those little steps and it's discipline and it's training and you're not going to change your entire life in one day, but it is, it's taking control of those thoughts, not letting yourself concentrate on the negative, not concentrating on, oh, I have bad luck. Oh my gosh, I'm never going to get out of this. I'm, it is concentrating even on anything that can be positive in your life, being grateful, and then making small steps to get where you need to be. So I just want to thank you for going through this journey with me. And I'm hoping that in the process, you're holding me accountable to continue. And I want to help you work forward too. Let's just all move forward. What's your why? Remember, what are we working for? Who are we working for? What What's our dream? Don't give up. We don't want to just survive. We need to live. We don't have that much time on earth, even though it can feel like forever if it's going rough. Let's make it count. We don't want to go through it for no reason. So make it count. Leave a legacy Let's make it to the top and we can all go together and encourage and support each other. There's enough room at the top for all of us. So have a great day. Get out and make things happen. And I really look forward to continuing on this journey. And if you have comments and suggestions, I would love those too. Thank you guys. And we'll see you next time on Everyday Talk with Stephanie Clements.